I'm going to go out on a huge limb and say that Nat saved the internet. Maybe. <laughs>what's up guys welcome back to the channel i'm mike this is the ultimate tech hub thank you for joining us i really appreciate it you guys are awesome so you may have seen a video we did a couple weeks ago where i said dhcp saved the internet and i got a lot of questions and comments about that video and many of my awesome viewers said that nat saved the internet or at least was an mvp and to be honest in that video i didn't discuss nat at all it was all about dhcp and that's why i'm making this video now so guys, let's talk about NAT and what it does. First, NAT stands for Network Address Translation. And Network Address Translation, NAT, translates private IP addresses to public IP addresses and back and forth. And without Network Address Translation, there would be no communication. Now DHCP, Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol, hands out the IP address, the subnet mask, the default gateway, and the DNS. So DHCP did save the internet by automatically handing out IP addresses to private networks. But you guys were correct. Without NAT, it wouldn't work. So in a way, DHCP and NAT work together in unison. You need the IP addresses and all the information, but you also need a way to translate it back and forth between private and public networks. Now there's three types of network address translation. There's static, dynamic, and PAT, port address translation. Static NAT is used for one-to-one -one translation of ports or IP addresses. For example, one private IP address is mapped to one public IP address. Dynamic NAT is used with a public IP address pool. It works with more than one public IP address. Here, multiple IP addresses are mapped to a pool of public IP addresses. And these IP addresses are given to internal users randomly. So it is difficult to reach any internal user from the outside. Dynamic NAT is used when the number of internal users are known. And lastly, PAT, Port Address Translation, or NAT Overload. And here, many private IP addresses are translated to one public IP address. The traffic distinguisher in PAT are port numbers. TCP and UDP ports are used in PAT, NAT Overload. So now you know the three types of NAT, static, dynamic, and PAT. But I'm willing to admit that NAT saved the internet, as well as DHCP. And guys, make sure to watch the video on DHCP saved the internet. There's a lot of great information in there. And guys, I hope you learn why NAT is so important to the internet. And it most likely saved the internet. And guys, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. And I'll see you in the next video real soon. Peace.